So tonight I went to an event, it was a shopping event, and I was sitting down at a place where I had noticed a man and we struck up a conversation. And now I'm home and he's a screenwriter. So I was sitting in my little space where I sit and I thought about the time when I was a front desk clerk at the Holiday Inn. And it was interesting, especially during the precincts, the um, Belmont, Holiday in Belmont, you know, the races, horse races, and the people would come in and I was the Holiday in Belmont. And the people that ran the hotel uh, per were Persian, the two top managers, and then the third in, in staff was a blonde woman. I, and the first in staff and her would always go up dancing. They both had other relationships, but they would always go out dancing. It was so funny. And I, I realized tonight that I have a whole entire sitcom because I was a front desk clerk, straight lace. And then one night, one of my coworkers decided to drop acid. And she was tripping and she starts, she's like, I dropped acid and like 45 minutes later, she's tripping and we're checking out people and I'm watching her just completely like go off the deep end, not able to handle anything because of course she's tripping and I'm checking out my people and looking at her spiral, like just going into these loop to the loops of laughter and the person behind the counter. Why is she laughing? <laughs> And I would have to be handling things in between my transactions. Well, that's just an aside. So the manager had this ex, uh, uh, the sidekick, you know, the assistant. And I remember he would ask me to do things and I would always uh, answer a person. Yes. Okay, sure. I'll do that. And then I'd go do it. He goes, I don't know what it is. Uh, why don't I get more respect? Like, I'm like, what would that be? And he wanted me to address him in a certain way. <laughs> and here's the deal. He hadn't earned the respect. And I, now, you know, 40 years later, because I was 20 and something then, and now I'm 60. I go, oh, he was looking. Okay, he was coming from another country. And I'm not blaming him for that, because we all know the aggressor in the Mideast has been our country bombing theirs because of some reason. For some reason. And I don't know if it's for oil, and I don't know if it's for... Uh, Okay, there's olive oil and Popeye and spinach and Brutus. That's all I know, okay? All right, back to the story. So, that's exactly what it was like. And this guy was like wimpy, but not wimpy. And he wanted me to like, always speak to him as if he was the, his holiness. Like I wanted to address him as his holiness. And I was always polite. I've always been polite. I was raised with good manners, albeit by a raging pathologically narcissistic mother. <laughs> it's funny, now that I've healed myself and I say that, when I've met a person and I say that, they automatically make assumptions and I know they look at me like, tag, she's it. And I think it's hilarious because I'm the very opposite. But it does allow me to have more leeway, meaning I used to be the prey. And now I get to be the predator for once, even if in facsimile. I'm not really a predator at all. I'm a pussycat. Meow. And I just love being alone. I'm one of those alone in the sunshine bean kind of beings. So I'm just loving life. And I, I just imagine this whole story after I met this screenplay writer because I just jived 
off of um, meeting creatives, and I had just been with a creative um, and, ex, ex, uh, thing, uh, you know, the Raleigh uh, Arts and Film Festival, Film and Arts Festival. I, I don't know them, know them, but I brush shoulders with these peeps. And